Welcome to Wervin's World. Today I would like to talk about how to make money as a beginning player. So the game has changed a fair amount in the last couple of months and the options for a beginning player are so much bigger than they were when I was a beginning player. Uh, and some players uh, notified me about that fact so I thought I would make a, a video on that. Um, so when I was just starting out, basically the biggest options to make money uh, were kind of mining uh, here in systems like these, like here in Ver Veritas at the beginning. Uh, try to find uh, good uh, asteroids, for example, uh, Autonite to mine uranium, because uh, then you could sell uranium for a lot of credits per ton. Um, so that's basically how I made most of my money. Another way of making money was to go to the local markets. And here, for example, in Veritas, um, I would buy all their titanium and then I would fly to, for example, Apollo and I would se sell it there again and uh, make money like that. Um, so those were basically the biggest ways of making money, either mining and selling it uh, to the local markets or mining uh, buying at the local markets. Uh, another option was to, for example, mine for niobium and um, uh, and tin and sell it to players in uh, systems like Miner's Paradise because that was a system that was already connected. Because um, then you would go to Hubertus and Pomona and then you would go to Miner's Paradise where some colonies were and they wanted to buy tin and niobium of you for like 50k per ton. And that was a good way of making money as well. However, um, the game has shifted a bit and as you can see there's a lot of, of purple lines here and that's because people have been uh, very active in building gates and uh, now uh, one of the ways of making a lot of money is to actually um, go from Veritas to Prime so I'll first do that Warp. So Prime is a system that used to be completely um, away from the inner nine system, so you needed a jump drive to go there. But now players have been making a gate, and they didn't stop there. Then they connected um, Prime to Ultima. Warp. So these gates really cost like millions upon millions of, of uh, resources that players have been uh, gathering together and putting into those gates to make the life uh, of people uh, uh, much easier because you don't need a hyperdrive anymore to go to uh, the special planets. So that's really great. So uh, then there is this system called Black Hell and Black Hell is a bit of a ridiculous system um, for two reasons. First of all, it has a boatload of... Oh, a lot of sound. There we go. Uh, first of all, it has a boatload of carbon in it, so people mine a lot of carbon in it. Uh, second of all, it's terraformed. That means people don't need to build environmental domes in order to build there, uh, and thus more people wanted to build there, and thus the output of carbon is really, really extreme. Um, so it's on the planet uh, called Carbonite. So carbon actually gives you a fair amount of money. First of all, um, if you have contracts in the inner nine systems, they uh, want to often give you like a thousand to let's say two thousand credits per ton of carbon, which is a nice price. If you already have uh, a nice ship with a hyperdrive, you can actually jump to uh, Jam One. Um, and you can uh, go there to Deep Six and they give you carbon contracts where they pay 6,000 credits per ton of carbon. So that's a lot of money. So while to a new player I still recommend to first mine a bit in the inner nine systems, but once you get a bit of a decent cargo size, for example like a Rhino or something, then it might be worth actually checking out here Carbonite and going to the stock market and see who is selling carbon. And you can see here, uh, oh, ha, I haven't checked this in a while. Apparently I'm still the, uh, the cheapest. I haven't updated this at all. So now I am the cheapest, but because I'm nice, I am going to buy some at MG Umbrella Corp 2, who is uh, offering to sell carbon for 398 credits per ton. So if I go there, 
uh, MGU Brella Corp 2. So we can find that here in the settlements. Uh, MG and Bellicop 2. Cool. There, now we landed there. Yeah. Or we arrived at uh, that colony. So then you need to go down, uh, as in my uh, my stock market tutorial, you need to fly to the right, MG cool. Umbrella Corp um, label. So basically you want to look out for the cheapest carbon and then you can either sell it uh, to contract, for example in Gem 1 for like 6,000 per ton, or you can go to, if you don't have a hyperdrive yet, you can stay in the inner nine and you can still fetch either by contracts like a thousand to two thousand for each carbon but you can also sell it to the local markets and they also uh, offer a fair amount of money for it so I will buy it now there open stock market there I will just fill up my um, my cargo hold with carbon I say buy max there, now I bought a lot of carbon, just my entire cargo hold full. And then you can go back to um, one of the inner nine systems. Uh, I have a hyperdrive, I'm not going to use it because you might not have one. So just to show you the entire process. Cool. Once in Veritas, you can go to the local uh, system, uh, to the Warm. space station. And then you can go to the local markets. And as you can see here, they are offering me 1267 uh, uh, carbon uh, per ton of carbon. And I spent 398, so let's say 400. So uh, basically, I would be making 800 credits per ton of carbon. So if you have a um, a Rhino, uh, what's that like, 1200 cargo space or something, I'm not entirely sure, you would be making a fair amount of money fairly quickly, just a couple of hauling runs and you might be able to afford a new ship uh, quite soon. So I could sell it either to here or to the contract board, I'm not sure if this one is offering cargo, uh, carbon now, no none of them wants to uh, sell, buy any uh, ca carbon. I'll just accept this magnesium contract. Um, so now I'll just sell it here to the local market. Sell max. And then you have a lot of money and maybe your trade skill goes up as well so that next time you gain even more money. Um, so that's how, that's basically an additional option in making money. So now uh, not just only uh, mining in the inner systems or like in systems like Adolphus yeah, and selling niobium and tin to players. Now also, uh, especially uh, carbon hauling is, is very profitable. Yeah, so uh, I hope you find it useful and see you next time.